Hey, how's it going? Z-Man Tech here. Thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today I'm checking out Stardrich on Steam. It's actually a demo build, but uh, you know, I'm pretty excited to check out, you know, this 2.5D uh, platformer here. And I guess you can say slash shooter. <laughs> and uh, and I wanna hear I wanna say there's upgrades, things like that. You know, you can kind of get along the way, kind of just traversing through these uh, through these levels and whatnot. Um, I was actually invited to play this by the developer, so big shout out and a thank you. Uh, and it's an honor to be, you know, uh, selected and uh, invited to check out your game on the channel. And without much further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, and it, it actually does recommend controller support, and I'm using a uh, Xbox controller here. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. pretty cool all right click 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 please boot up autumn suit system boot sequence successful greetings lady lunar lady lunaris it's a tongue twister there <laughs> ha it's working autumn we've got a great we've got a problem the ship's energy capacitors are completely drained and I had to stage an emergency landing on this planet I use the remaining energy to power your systems, but I don't think it will last long. Affirmative. Suit system status, suit energy level 10%. Only basic functions can be performed. Combat and mobility systems are offline. We have to find an energy source. Do you have enough energy to scan? Affirmative. Scanner activated. Scanning. Scanning. Scan successful. Suitable energy source detected. Location, two quadrants northwest. Whew. I knew I could count on you. The energy levels allow for a distress call. Do you wish to dispatch one? Save the energy. There's nobody left out there to hear us either way. Let's go. Okay, okay. Yo, all right. I love the, uh, the uh, 2D hand-drawn approach to the uh, character but a 2.5D uh, environment. This is, this is pretty nice. Okay, a little birds flapping away. Okay. Oof. Well, man, <laughs> that thing came at me a little quicker than I expected. Okay, so it looks like you have just a little, a little two-piece combo there, for the most part. Um, it seems like the uh, the thrust forward is a little more effective. Um, at least for the ground enemies. Watch out for that. Ooh, right in the face. Okay. I like how they just kind of throw you right in, too. All right, I'm not going to really try to attack those since I don't really have a way of hitting them from a distance. Ooh, there's something down there that I want. Oh! Oh, that was close. We take those. <laughs> uh. See, these little orb things are in there, though. I, I hate to leave them up there, but I'm pretty sure I can get something later. I just can't really shoot or anything right now. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, the jump is floaty enough to where you should be able to make that with no problem. As you can see there. Woo. Had to shimmy my way in there. <laughs> don't know what these things are, but I'm just going to collect them. <laughs> okay, I was like, how am I going to get over there? Pretty cool how she uh, pretty much uh, drew all the pieces of the sword back together to make it technically kind of whole again. That was pretty cool. Okay, so you, okay, you can duck under them, that's good. Alright. Oh, that was probably worth a good little bit there. If these things have a value. Okay. I appreciate the attention to detail with um, the hair reacting to the fall as you're uh, descending from your jump. Looks like it uh, reacts to it as you jump as well. So yeah, kudos, kudos to the uh, the animator. I wonder if they used uh, if they used um, dragon bones or spider, you know, for the uh, animations of the character and enemies here. So I've definitely messed, I messed with Dragon Bones a little more, but uh, I also, I also use Spryder as well. So yeah, just a development question. Ah, I wish the, I wish the end piece of that Ah, I knew it. Uh, there was no other way out of that. I had to get hit. I'm hoping I can hit the other one from this side. Okay. Oof. No. <laughs> get back in there. Huh. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, life. Sweet. I got health back. I was starting to wonder what that would look like. Okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! So you have to get out the way pretty much every attack. Because it's going to counterattack. Oh, God. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> I was like, I can't get bodied by the first boss. This is gonna be ridiculous. All right, oof, what was that thing? Data insufficient. So how close are we to the energy source now? Target destination is close in proximity. Location, half quadrant northwest. Can you generate a map of the area? Affirmative, please stand by. Map generating, generation complete. Okay. <laughs> I like the smoothness of that. The smoothness just it transitioned right into level select. That's, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so we're about nine, nine minutes and we're gonna keep going here on this level, kind of proceed and uh, you know, see where it goes from there. Just slash it. Oh, okay. Just slash it. Get these orbs. Still don't know what they are. But we collect them. Um, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I'm going to hit one of them. <laughs> 
I want to see what's over here first. There's definitely an alternate way. Here we go. Yep. Didn't want to leave that. And this is just... This is uh, <laughs> my mannerisms coming from, like, Metroidvanias and stuff. You just gotta... You gotta... You gotta traverse every nook and cranny, you know? Even though this may not be that sort of a game directly. Oof. I was like, is it gonna let me hit it? <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Look, Autumn. Is that it? The crystal? It's crackling with energy. Affirmative. Caution is advised. Static discharge are expected. Uh, let me try something. Zoop. Ah! Ah! Get in there, you little... There we go. How much energy is that? Suit system status. Suit energy level 15%. Only 5%? I guess it's better than nothing. Can you reactivate the gauntlet? Affirmative. Gauntlet missile system online. Let's keep going to see if we find more of these crystals. Okay, okay. Nice. We can shoot now. Let's go. Oh, I, that shot just came out in the nick of time. Take it out. I don't think I can hit it from this distance. Oh, maybe I did. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. Cool. As far as the controls, they definitely seem responsive. Uh, there's a bit of a delay when, I guess, slashing the tree, or maybe that's supposed to happen. It might be intended. Um, but that's really the only delay that I experience, so definitely a uh, great job on the uh, mechanics. Oh! Yeah, of course I can't hit it from here. Uh, okay. Actually, I think... Um, yeah. I didn't want to miss something down there. I was like, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I need to get checked down there real quick. Whew. These things are getting a little too close for comfort here. I just have to miss an orb. It is what it is. Oh, wow, you can't just shoot those? Oh, I don't know what we got, what we got. Oh. Um, hello? Ah. I, I don't want to butcher these names, and but uh, I'm just going to go for it, okay? So bear with me. <laughs> Zylamez Natek Mao. Initiating... Universal Translation Protocol. Translator active. Who are you? Please don't hurt me. Oh no, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. My name is Lunaris. Nice to meet you. So you don't want to eat me? Great. I am Exoda. Again, I hope I'm not butchering these. I am Exoda. Nice to meet you. Too. So, can I ask you something? I'm kind of lost and I don't know where I am. Do you mean these old ruins around us? According to an old book I found in the ac Academy's library, they belong to an ancient culture that was destroyed ages ago. I just got here recently myself. I'm from the southern grand city of Zotolas in the Emerald Ocean. I came here to study the ruins and the strange powers they inhabit. But now that I'm here, 
I have to admit that this place is more dangerous than I expected, and having fins instead of legs doesn't help either. I could always swim back through the underground tunnels, but I can't just bring myself to leave. There's so much to discover here. Alright, can I ask can I ask you where you're from? I've seen a lot of surface dwellers, but you look quite different. <laughs> yes I am. Quite unique. I would rather not talk about it. So you mentioned strange powers. Can you tell me more about those? Of course. That's my area of expertise. There's some residual energy all around here. It seeps through the animals and plants and appears in these black orbs. Ah, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I want to try to collect some of these, or some of those, and harness their energy. Maybe this might help me power my starship. Your what? Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. Never mind. Can I help you somehow with your research? Yes, yes you can. You look like somebody who can handle this place. I need these dark orbs. They hold strange magical powers. If you find some, bring them to me. And if my theory about magical energy cons uh, conversion is correct, I can use them for enchantments. Did you just say magic? Yes, of course. You know, light pole flux, mana redirection, power weaving, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just don't worry about it. Just bring me the orbs and I'll handle the rest. Okay, I'll get the orbs for you. Just stay safe. Thank you so much. Without you, my whole trip would be a waste. But please be careful out there. Okay, okay. Let's see. I think we have 182. So let's uh, do shot damage, sword damage. Uh, yeah, and we gotta wait for the rest. Sweet. You can level up in this game. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you can't... Uh, <laughs> they can't be damaged, apparently. Yeah. Because even ducking yields the same result. It just goes through it. That's crazy. Alright. I don't seem to have a limit for these, so I'm going to be... Uh, using the heck out of them. So, hope that doesn't bother any, anybody. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. There's a lot of legs. Okay, cool. I was like, please be worth it. <laughs> Alright, so really, really loving the atmospheric uh, soundtrack as well. This, it's atmospheric, but yet it has like a beat to it. It's really interesting. Very steady, progressive... Uh, tune there. Oh, I was wondering if I could... Oh, oh man. Oh, shoot. Ah. Okay. Alright, I gotta, I gotta watch out. They're, they're taking a lot of damage per hit. <laughs> like, I didn't expect my bar to be that far down. spawned because I was like how am I going to get it <laughs> I just thought about that ah no it's probably going to take forever too okay
But you know what? You can time this. So it's not too bad. Come on. Yeah, I'm not going to have you messing with me later. Ah, there we go. Got an orb. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot something back there. Hmm. It's okay, though. Because there's, like, another path I could have taken. This wayside shrine had a crystal inside. Whoever built the shrines must have used their energy too. The energy gained is minimal. It will only recoup the energy that was lost on the way here. The scanners have located another energy source nearby. It is advised to move on and collect it. Please take a look at the scanning results. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I love the transition though. It's really nice. All right, so we have a, a fork in the road here. Um, I think this will be a good stopping point, right? So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop it here. And uh, if you want to see more, you already know what to do. Definitely hit me in the comments of the uh, video down below, and uh, if you just request it. You know, I'll be more than happy to resume where we left off. Um, let's go back to the main menu here. Okay, eleven percent at. For for a demo, there's there's a lot of there seems to be a lot of footage, uh, you know, a lot of actual gameplay time you get, so it's pretty nice. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. You know, if you haven't tried it out already, you can definitely get to it on uh, on Steam. It has a Steam page there. It'll be listed down below. And uh, yeah, again, if you want to see more of this, hit the comments down below, like the video, all that. Let me know that you're interested. And uh, we can keep making more content like this, right? Whatever you want, whatever you're into, I'm trying to put that out, right? So as far as the, this genre of uh, my channel. But um, yeah, if you uh, like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Stoli Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage. Sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix, all right? Have a good one. Take care.